So, my name is Vidal Angel. I'm 63 years old and I come from California. Yeah, I was, uh, I was in French uh, art school for four years. It was uh, more like a industrial design and advertising. And then uh, at the time of the graduation, uh, I had the opportunity to uh, get a spot in the Disney studio in uh, Champs-Élysées in Paris. And uh, I didn't graduate from school and I just went to uh, be an apprentice at the Disney studio for four years. And then uh, the, um, the boss called me one day and he said, see, I'm on this side of the desk, you're on the other side of the desk. You should be on this side of the desk. And if you stay here, you only be drawing Mickey Mouse for the rest of your life. And uh, you know, I decided to leave. For me, uh, it really changed my artwork, not my artwork, my, my vision of things changed when I start taking LSD. Every time you take a trip, uh, traveling, uh, you bring back with you influence of uh, your voyage, of, uh, of your, your trip. So LSD is the same thing, every, every time you trip, you bring back with you uh, visions of your uh, journey, you know, and uh, so art is only uh, an expression of that. Art is the state of freedom, you know, so if me, I've always felt that I live, lived in that state. I don't like to be restrained to any uh, norms or or you can only sculpt because you're a sculptor, or you can only draw uh, cartoons because you're a cartoonist. If uh, Leonardo da Vinci was alive now, he would have a Mac. So, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, you, live, you live with the tool of your times. I mean, I saw Goa the first time, it was like coming into paradise. There's a sense of a, of a big family that Goa created those, in those days. And you know, when, you, when I see you, I see your dad, you know, but it's like, a, you know, it's the continuation, you know. It's, uh, me, uh, my son, he came here and he, uh, he was like, uh, he fit with all the sons and daughters of all the old, friend that I had here and you know some of them became best friend and uh, some they, they die you know like in a, in a space of two years uh, his best friend from here die he die and then this other friend die life is so ephemeral and uh, it eats you when you less expect it you know, when you think uh, everything is cool, everything is beautiful, everything is right, bang, he hits you. So it's not the first time he did that to me in the life, but uh, losing my son was... Uh, took out all the wind out of my cells and, uh, you know, I had to uh, reevaluate the, my purpose here because he was my purpose. My kids were my purpose to, you know, keep on uh, creating, doing a lot of things. Hello. Hello. They're going for the plastic. I think uh, it's in human nature to uh, find beautiful spot and spoil them. What to do? 
What can you do? There's money in that. That's what you have to tell them. There's money in garbage people. <laughs> 